I'm at a gas station in Medford, Oregon. I just pulled in here, it's not far from where I live, to gas up my Subaru. And as I gassed it up, I thought back being a kid, when we'd travel on vacations, my dad would always stop at a gas station in the town that we were gonna spend the night. He would stop at a gas station and fill the car up before we could check into the motel. That drove my brother and myself crazy because we wanted to get in the swimming pool, we wanted to eat snacks, we wanted to watch television, but we always had to stop always had to fill the car up with gas. When I got a little older, I asked my dad, Dad, why did you do that? Every time we would go on vacation, you'd fill the car up with gas before we could check into the motel. And he said this to me, he said, son, there's gonna be times when in the middle of the night, you might get a call, a desperate call. A, a situation takes place where you need to get up immediately and go, and if your tank is empty, you can't make the trip. This morning as I read Ephesians 5, where Paul said to the church at Ephesus, he said, be filled with the Spirit, he chose a Greek word there that means be being filled, an ongoing progressive, like a daily filling of the Spirit. And I thought of my dad filling up at night before we checked into a motel and Paul's admonition to be being filled as a word to the church for the season of life that we're in right now. You and I can't afford to live a day without the empowering presence of the Spirit in our life. I believe that Pentecost was not just on the day of Pentecost. It's an ongoing process of infilling the church and anointing the church with the power of the Spirit to navigate through the dark seasons of the night that come to culture into personal lives. I would encourage you today to fill your spirit up, fill your life up with the presence of God. Let Him fill you to capacity so that if a call comes in the middle of your life for a circumstance beyond your control, you know that you're filled up with the capacity to move from one place to another in the freedom and the power of the Spirit. God bless you. Have a great day.